The role of mentorship in STEM career is very important. I believe that a good mentor can help a mentee understand that STEM is reachable and they can um, help them become excited about it and uh, start, start going towards that, uh, that role. I think that a good mentor can really excite you and ignite your interest in STEM and really get the ball rolling. They can point you in the direction of other mentors and other resources in the field, but just as easily a bad mentor can, can derail that and, and really demotivate you from being interested in STEM. Hi, Dr. Parman. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. I really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, all right, well, okay. Um, I don't really have an agenda for today, but um, I just wanted to ask you just a few random questions um, to start. Um, how did you get into your field? Oh, that's a very long answer. I've been around for 30 years and it would take some time to answer that question and I really don't have time right now for that. Uh, maybe just tell me something that is very important right now that you want to ask and we can deal with that later. Okay. Um, do you have any space in your laboratory? You're doing great research and I was interested if, in working in your lab. Do you have space for another student? Uh, you know what, I'm sorry, but I actually lost my grant and I don't have any room in my lab right now. Uh, so I can't provide any funding. Uh, no, unfortunately, no, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't think the role of a mentor is to tell you what to do. I think that they play a critical role in guiding you and maybe giving you options and resources along the way. So I think through this session that we have, uh, we will provide the mentors and mentees with the appropriate skills that they need to have in order to interact with each other and get the most out of their mentorship, mentor-mentee relationship. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. I really appreciate it. Great, I'm so happy that you picked me as your mentor. Oh, that's awesome. I also see that you're doing some really cool research and I read a couple of your articles. Um, do you have space and availability to take on additional students? I may be interested in, in working in your lab. Actually, I would have loved to have you in my lab, but unfortunately, I recently lost my grant and I don't have actually a space for this, but if you tell me what you're interested in, uh, then I can see if I can you know, find out another person who might be interested or might have an opening in their lab um, so I can connect you with that person. That's awesome. That would be a really good help. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Absolutely. The most important thing is that you feel comfortable with this person you're going to talk to. If you're not feeling at ease and comfortable, be able to share with them. You know, if you feel that you cannot share personal things with this person, then you probably don't have the right chemistry. You're probably not going to be taking that on. I would agree. I, I go off of that connection that I make with that individual. I strike an organic conversation with them that starts off about their career, about something professional. And based on that conversation, the connection, and how I feel about that determines whether I believe they may be a potential good fit. And then I ask them, because they may have a, a full plate. So putting out an expectation from them, hey, are you even available to be a mentor? And what does that look like? Setting those expectations of how frequently we're going to meet. Having that conversation early with your mentor and with your mentee to say, you know, are you committed to do this? Because there is no point to mentor someone if you're not going to commit to it. You can watch all of our content and more by clicking this link right here. Go check it out now.